Hello, my favorite artists. Today we're going to be making Jen Arani inspired landscapes. The first thing I'm going to do is create a horizon line. A horizon line is a line that is created when the land meets the sky. Take my ruler and make it straight across like this. Now mountains are typically above a horizon line. So I'm going to add a jagged line, very random to create my mountains. Next, you're going to choose either warm or cool colors to create your sky. Warm colors would more be for daytime colors and cool colors are more for nighttime colors. It's important to remember our watercolor basics. First, our brush is not a toothbrush or a toilet brush. We should not scrub this brush. She is fragile like a grandma and doesn't want her hair messed with. When using watercolor paints, I always wanna make sure there is a puddle of water underneath my brush. If your paints feel sticky like honey, you have too much paint and not enough water. If you want your color to be even lighter than what you've placed on your artwork, you need to add more water. When I'm painting, I place colors next to each other rather than stacking them on top of each other. This allows the colors to do something called bleed together and it makes interesting designs. Notice when I'm working, I have my hand on the handle of my paintbrush. I don't have it down there in that silver part called the danger zone. That's where I'd be getting paint on my fingertips rather than getting it on my paper. I'm also swishing my water, just tickling my paint, and then placing it on my paper. Once I'm done this step, I'm going to let my painting dry. Next, I'm going to take a permanent marker and I'm gonna trace along my original pencil lines for the mountains. Next, I'm going to create shadows for my mountains. I do that by drawing a wiggle line from the tip of my mountain to the end of the diagonal line that creates it. I'm only doing this on the left hand side of each mountain. Now I'm gonna shade the shadows in using a series of diagonal lines. This adds something called texture to my mountains. Next, I'm gonna add a curved line that is going to become my river. Started at the back with this S shape. And then I add another curved line next to the first. It's gonna be closer to that first line at the top and further away at the bottom. This creates the illusion of space because the river appears smaller towards the mountains and bigger in the foreground. Next, I'm gonna add vertical lines for trees. I'm going to make them shorter in the middle ground and taller in the foreground, continuing to create that illusion of depth and space. Next, I'm gonna add little diagonal lines on the trees to give them a little bit of texture. The shorter line should be at the top of your trees and the Longer line should be at the bottom to give your tree a triangle or cone shape.
as you may have noticed, I'm adding a couple lines to the top of the mountains to add a texture. I then went over my horizon line one more time and I'm adding these small little lines in the river to make that water texture. Hope you enjoyed this. Make sure that you upload a picture to Edsby to show me your great work. Bye.